it's Estelle and welcome back to my channel live your life like it's chocolate so I wanted to give you a little update on my health issues and my weight loss progress first of all I have to admit that on Sunday I cheated a little bit and I had a soda not too bad I guess but I really shouldn't have had it but I did so um, I haven't had one since. I only had one, so one is okay, but still one too many. I have noticed a difference in the way my pants are feeling and my blouses are feeling. And um, I have been walking. Um, I'm only up to six minutes and 45 seconds, but uh, that's pretty good compared to where I started. Um, I also want to talk, and I've also been doing squats every day. I'm up to, um, today I'll be doing 31 squats. And I'm also doing, I don't know what they're called, but you stand and then you back kick one leg at a time. I'm not sure if that makes sense. And that is for your behind, that's for your butt exercises. So I've been doing those. Um, and I do three days, then I rest, three days, then I rest. Uh, so that's my... Um, that's my game of game plan for right now um, I wanted to talk to you I know I had said in an, another video that I wanted to talk to you about do a video I mean about my um, spinal stenosis and for those of you who do not know what spinal stenosis is in layman's terms it's a narrowing of your spinal column so your spine is compressing like this onto the nerves and as it compresses the pain radiates out I also have not all the time but I do have sciatic pain and some of the symptoms that I get from the spinal stenosis are pain in my legs radiating down my legs both my legs I have a pinched nerve somewhere in my left leg in my lower left leg so the back of my left leg and the bottom of my left foot are both numb and um, sometimes I get pain in my left foot on the top that when I'm walking it feels like my foot is gonna just collapse and I'm gonna fall I did fall a couple of weeks ago in my room and just got up from my bed and I was walking toward my desk and because my desk is over here this is my bed right here my bed my desk is on that wall over there I'm not going to show you because my room's not clean right now and um, my f my left foot just gave out and poof down I went scratched up my glasses new my new glasses um, luckily some of my unused canvases were near my chair which kind of cushioned my fall otherwise I'm not sure um, if I would have hurt myself um, I didn't thank goodness I did have um, a sore right arm from falling this way and I had a large bruise on the top of my right leg which didn't last long and of course I was a little sore but other than that, um, and, and this side of my face, I don't know why this side, but this side of my face was, was um, I gotta get my glasses tightened. Oh, this annoys me that they keep falling down as I'm talking and I keep saying I have to get them tightened and then I end up not going, but I'm definitely gonna go. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna, I, they're not open on the weekend, so I'll have to wait <clears throat> until Monday. Can't go tomorrow because I have to go to the dentist. Uh, Thursday maybe I'll try going Thursday because I know I have to go to the grocery store for my dad and then Friday I can't go because I have to go run some errands with my dad um, and by the time we get done they'll be closed so um, and I'm going to a high school football game on Friday hopefully the friend that I'm going with is sick so I'm not sure if she's gonna be well enough to go but if not this week we're in the playoffs so hopefully we'll still be in the playoffs you know next week so we can go but anyway sidetracked so when I, and sometimes, so when you have spinal stenosis, um, everybody's a little different because I have it in lumbar and I have it in the thoracic area. 
you can also get it in the cervical, you know, the neck area. I have a friend who has it in the cervical and he can't turn his head a certain way. Um, but when I walk, you know, um, my back, especially in the thoracic area, when I walk sometimes, it feels like my back is gonna break in half. Literally, I'm gonna break in half. The muscles and the nerves hurt so bad. I do have medication that I can take for it, um, prescribed medications. However, they make me a little dopey and tired and loopy, so I don't really like to take them. I do take some Advil, which helps. I do try and do some stretching, which doesn't always help, but you know, you, you try, try anything you can. Um, and when the spinal stenosis is exag or exasperated, I almost said the word, wrong word, um, when you eat sugary processed foods. So that's why I'm trying to get away from all of that. Um, like I said, I've, I've, I'm up to six and a half minutes and for me, that's, um, that's pretty good. And um, so, um, so I'm gonna continue to build up my walking, not just for the exercise, but for the, um, because I'm going back to school in January. So I need to be able to walk from my car to my class. Um, that's one of the reasons I did not go to school this semester was because, um, you know, I, there's just no way that I could make it you know, because I, you know, um, because of me not exercising, eating wrong, uh, it was affecting my spinal stenosis. So I'm slowly changing everything. I'm not giving up anything per se. I mean, yes, I want to get away from processed foods, however, and I'm giving up soda. However, other things I'm not going to give up. Every once in a while, I'm going to treat myself to something such as maybe, I don't know, a scoop of ice cream, or, um, you know, um, maybe I'll have, you know, I don't know what, <laughs> maybe my Chinese food. I'm not gonna have McDonald's anymore or Burger King anymore, but I will continue to have Chinese food, but of course not every week, um, maybe once a month. Um, because I feel like when, you're, when you restrict yourself to a certain type of food, then in reality, sometimes you're gonna want that food. Um, so I'm trying to stay away from all that stuff. It is hard to get away from all of that um, because you're so used to eating all of that. But um, but it's just, like I said, I for me, it's a slow process. Some people can probably do it, you know, cold turkey and they're good. Um, but that is one of the things that I have to do because it's, and it's also a good way to help uh, for your thyroid, which I have thyroid issues, and I have um, hyperin in my diet, which is, um, can lead to gout. So um, when you're on a low purine diet, you really need to stay away from processed foods, fried foods, so I'm trying to stay away from that. Um, we just recently got um, a rotisserie chicken pieces from Winn-Dixie. And they now have, instead of getting the fry, they have rotisserie chicken pieces instead of the whole chicken, which is really good. And um, so, so I'm trying to stay away from a lot of stuff. And if I have processed foods, it's a small, like let's say I get a Stouffer's, something Stouffer's frozen. It's a small, it's a small, small. And then I'll have, uh, you know, a salad with it. Of course, it's still a high in calorie, but um, but um, at least it's something. And I am giving up milk. I am giving up. Um, I really want to try, you know, going and doing a, like keto or Atkins and doing it that way. And um, the problem is, you know, I'm not working, so I have to use my, you know, I have to have my dad pay for everything, and he's, you know, he's kind of a stickler with his money. Don't tell anybody I said that. Only that's between you and me. 
and but anyway so each day that I walk I'm gonna get stronger and I'm gonna be able to walk farther and um, once I start getting rid of some of these foods that are causing the inflammation because it's all about the inflammation with spinal stenosis you have to get the uh, now listen don't get me wrong it's not a cure-all um, and it's not um, there is no cure for spinal stenosis I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life and um, I just want to try and have an active lifestyle so that in a year from now I'm not in a wheelchair maybe in 20 years I might be in a wheelchair however if I lose the weight and I don't have this inflammation and I'm able to exercise then maybe just maybe um, I can ward off and get rid of some of this pain so I can have um, a more active lifestyle and I can be relatively pain-free I mean there's still gonna be days when I'm gonna be in pain but that's just spinal stenosis so anyway, I'm going to sign off because I, I don't want this to be such a long video. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. And um, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.